back to another video. This time I'm just coming to talk about Paint and Sip Freaky Edition. Um, and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please like the subscribe button, hit the, the bell notification. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here. We talk about various things, but today we're going to talk about the Paint and Sip Quack Quack 3000 going down. So on Twitter, Instagram, social media, if you have if you have not seen, please go on Twitter and um <clears throat> look at the two second video because I sent me the video and the article this morning. And y'all, I, I I was tired today because I was traveling from my grandfather's funeral. So but now I'm here and I'm up and I'm ready to talk about it because we know that I like a, a lot of foolishness. Foolishness is what I do. I've been to a lot of painting sips in my lifetime. I ain't never been to one where people was giving giving out head to the male nude model for the painting sips. And I'm telling you right now, I've been to five painting sips that had nude, nude models and stuff like that. I even, uh, for Mother's Day, I took my mom to one and she didn't know where I was taking her. I was like, hey, come. We're going somewhere, and I took and I surprised her with <laughs> a painting sip because I knew my mama like foolishness. My mother liked foolishness as well, so I knew what she would want. You know, she wouldn't be like, "Oh my God, my mother's not stuck up. She ain't stush. She liked, you know." So I was like, "Well, come with me and let me go." And when when we went, it was BYOB. You bring your old bottle. They had, you know, the um canvases you know pre-made or you could do what you want to do on them and we she had a good time the, they had three male models going around interacting with the ladies but it wasn't on this level of interaction that happened at this paint and sip because i'm kind of confused like if you add a paint and sip and you see somebody giving head to the model what do you do in this moment what would you do because i feel like i would have been shocked and just looking and then trying not to look, but then look back to make sure that I'm looking at what I'm looking at and be like, wow, like shock. But then I also want to know, would that, is that lady shameful? Because I don't have backstory. A, does she know the person? Because sometimes your friends could come and support you with something so you never know what she throwing her shot, you know, at the model. And it, wow, she must be, she must really have like, you know, maybe one of those like sexual stuff where she like people to watch her do sexual acts and stuff. We just don't know. Like there's no backstory to why this model was getting, and he, and he was in it to win it too. She over here doing her, doing her thing and his hand is on her head, guiding her as she is giving him this head in the middle of the room. Were they drunk? Because, you know, paint and sips, usually you are drunk. Was she drunk? Did she remember the, the morning after? What she did with her friends? What did her friends say to her? Is her friends a part of this team? We just, there's so many questions that we don't know. But now my question to y'all, what would you do if you had went to a paint and sip and you saw this go down? Like, what would you do? Like, you, would you be like, oh my gosh, would you be mad? Would you be like, I need my money back, like refunding my money? Like, what the hell going on? Or because it's clearly had to be an 18 or 21 and over an event, you know? So, I guess whatever, whatever choice that, whatever choice an adult makes is their choice. But uh, she could have went in, a, in, in the bathroom. She could have went to her other room. She could have went somewhere else to do that instead of doing it inside the middle of the people in that room. And people over here taking video of it. Like, girl, you just, you just got yourself in a whole bigger situation that you really didn't need to be in. But you never know what was the context. We don't know what the girl was thinking. <laughs> just know that this is all over social media and it's viral. Thank God that, you know, I haven't seen her name or seen her, you know, out there like that. So let's keep her hidden, even though she ain't want to be hidden. But yeah, but I've been to several painting steps. I've been to naked ones. I've been to ones where you follow the instructor, the, the instructor to, to to do the painting, and 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 even with the naked ones that I've been with, like I had had 
one where they instruct a guy, you know, lift up a girl and put her vagina in his face and her, you know, face by his slong, but she didn't put the slong in her mouth. It was like, ooh, ah, or he lift one up and up on the wall, like, ooh, ah, but there was no, and there wasn't no oral interaction. There wasn't no, in, there was no physical interaction. So, you know, but, um, Guac Guac took it to a whole nother level. A whole other, other level. It's not my style, but whatever whatever floats your boat is your business, okay? And that's exactly what I'm going to going to do. But I would have been like, am I being punked right now? If I was there, I'd be like, Ashton Kutcher, where are you? Because, bro, I need you right here. So, y'all, people out there give your heads that page and stuff, y'all be careful. When you when you when you sign up to be on a page and stuff, now you would you have to be like, would there be a uh, showtime acts, pastime acts, halftime intermissions? Would there be intermissions where stuff be going on? Because nobody seems outraged in a two second clip. We don't know how long she was sucking his penis for. We don't know. Maybe she did a quick and then he let it go. We just don't know. There's so many questions that we need to know. Who held this? damn paint and sip. All right, y'all. I'm not going down a whole other tangent. I just can't tell y'all what what would you do? What would you do? All right, y'all. Be good.